2017 Mitsubishi Outlander V6 Odd. The best Mitsubishi you can buy new. Highs and lows. Highs. Standard third row seat, excellent all-wheel drive system, comfortable highway ride. Lows. Requires premium fuel, third row is practically useless, transmission is slow to react. With the demise of Mitsubishi's Lancer Evolution last year, the company's Outlander GT became the de facto best vehicle sold by the Three Diamond brand. Of course, that has been a low bar of late. The 2017 Outlander GT, however, is a genuinely acceptable crossover SUV. Straddling the line between compact and midsize, the Outlander's pricing and its 105.1-inch wheelbase put it in the former class, while the crossover's standard third-row seat and 184.8-inch overall length would seem to cast its lot with the latter. Because of its third row, C-slash-D classifies the Outlander as a mid-size crossover, even though it would not even be the largest vehicle in the compact crossover segment, where the Chevrolet Equinox and the GMC Terrain sit on longer wheelbases and cast larger shadows. And inside, the Outlander's standard 50-slash-50 split third row seats 28.2 inches of legroom fall 3.2 inches short of what's available in the compact Nissan Rogue's optional third row. Cargo space with all seats raised is markedly similar, with the Outlander's 10 cubic feet barely edging out the Rogue's 9 cubes. Folding each vehicle's rearmost row also results in a disparity of 1 cubic foot, with the sunroof-equipped Outlander GT V6 offering 33 cubic feet of cargo volume to the Rogue's 32 cubic feet. Value Pricing Despite the fact that most adults will prefer walking to being stuffed into the Outlander's cramped third row, its presence is noteworthy given the Mitsubishi's $24,390 base price, which is $1,560 less than the least expensive seven-passenger Rogue. That low starting price is for the base Outlander ES, there are also the SE, Cell, and GT. Our test vehicle was the last trim, which starts at $32,590. While ES, SE, and Cell models are motivated by a 166 HP 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine that frequently drones because of the continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, it's mated to, the GT is the sole trim level available with Mitsubishi's 224 HP 3.0 liter V6 engine and a six-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive, an option on four-cylinder Outlanders, is standard with the V6 as well. Although 2017 base Outlanders equipped with all-wheel drive use a more run-of-the-mill setup, the SE, Cell, and GT trims rely on Mitsubishi Super All-Wheel Control, SOC, hardware. A simplified version of the unit found in the now-defunct Lancer Evolution, SOC is able to shift engine output between the front and rear axles as well as left to right across the front axle. This dance is accomplished courtesy of a coupler that engages and disengages drive to the rear differential and a front limited slip differential. An active yaw control system both feathers the brakes and lightly adjusts the electrically assisted power steering to further regulate torque distribution. A button located aft of the gearshift lever can be tapped to engage one of four SOC drive modes, Echo, Snow, Lock, and Normal. This ain't no Evo. SOC is a capable all-wheel drive system, and its ministrations kept the nose-heavy Outlander GT's cornering behavior nearly neutral through the tight hairpin turns on some of our favorite back roads. Sadly, the Outlander is a less-than-ideal vessel for the performance capability of SOC, as, even in GTV6 form, it's softly sprung and lacking in athleticism. And the Outlander's lifeless steering relays little information about what the tires are up to. In spite of its comfort-oriented suspension setup, our 3768-pound Outlander GT test car managed a class competitive 0.78 grams around our skid pad, improving on the 100-pound lighter four-cylinder Outlander cell odd, which pulled just 74 centimos. Both vehicles wore the same 225-55 R18 Toyo A24 all-season tires, 
The braking performance of our V6 powered GT test car also improved on the four-cylinder model, albeit only slightly, with a 179-foot stopping distance from 70 miles per hour, one foot better than the cell odd. The Outlander's proclivity to list at every turn of the steering wheel and rock with each stab of the brake pedal means that dynamic or stop-and-go driving is not the Outlander's forte. Conversely, the Mitsubishi softly suspended chassis delivers a supremely comfortable ride at cruising speeds, as road irregularities are soaked up with aplomb, while cabin noise is kept to a class competitive 69 decibels at 70 miles per hour. However, pin the throttle, and the Corse V6S Ruckus readily enters the cabin. At 76 decibels, the Outlander GT V6 is 4 decibels louder at wide open throttle than a Kia Sportage SX Turbo Odd. Mitsubishi's Bent 6 is able to move the Outlander with reasonable quickness, at least off the line. 0 to 60 miles per hour takes just 7.6 seconds, and the quarter mile arrives after 16.0 seconds at 89 miles per hour, bettering its four-cylinder, all-wheel drive counterpart by 1.7 and 1.3 seconds. Unfortunately, the Outlander GT V6 is disappointingly lethargic once up to speed, as 30 to 50 mph and 50 to 70 mph passing times took 4.3 and 6.0 seconds slower than a 175 HP four-cylinder 2016 Hyundai Tucson Echo Odd. Blame the Outlander's sluggish six-speed automatic transmission, thankfully, it comes equipped with a chunky pair of column-mounted shift paddles for manual override. Fuel economy is rated at a respectable 20 mpg city and 27 mpg highway, however, Mitsubishi asks that you feed this V6 premium fuel. What's new, Mitsu? As part of a handful of modest updates for 2017, the Outlander's cabin adds a new center console with a covered cup holder slot, an electrically actuated parking brake on all-wheel drive SE, Cell, and GT models, and a new touchscreen infotainment system that's compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Standard on the SE, Cell, and GT, the unit's 7.0-inch display is crisp and clear, but the small, squished buttons make inputs while driving a challenge. Last year's 6.1-inch infotainment system lives on in the base Outlander ES, alas, a factory navigation system, which previously was an option, is no longer available. With a starting price of $32,590, our cool silver metallic Outlander GT test car came with an as-tested price of $34,090 due to the addition of the $1,500 GT Touring Package, which includes a heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, forward collision warning, automatic high beams, and a 360-degree view monitor. For those in need of a third-row seat and a more manageable size, but who still want a 200-plus horsepower engine, the 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander GT V6 carves out its own niche in an increasingly crowded segment. Still, Consumers who are content with seating for five will find more enjoyment behind the wheel of dynamically superior competitors such as the Mazda CX-5 and the Honda CR-V, while a larger midsize crossover or SUV with a more comfortable third row may better serve those genuinely in need of seven-passenger seating.